Alright everybody, welcome back. Dave ABQ SCNC. We are fresh off of our 50 subscriber giveaway video. And we are now about to open a hobby box of Series 1 Fleer 9394 Basketball. It says a game in every pack. I believe there's uh, 36 packs in here. A 240 card base set is what this says. Super sharp photo color and four special subsets gold foil stamped. All right, inserts were the big thing back then. I believe there are uh, randomly inserted Clyde Drexler autographs in here. Yep, 12 Clyde Drexler career highlights that I believe are autographed. 12 NBA internationals. One 1993 Draft Lottery Exchange Cards, 24 NBA All-Stars, Art Cards, NBA Award Winners, League Leaders. So we got a bunch of stuff in here. That's the good news. Uh, the three main cards in here that are pretty much worth anything are, um, besides the Drexler autos, would probably be, there are two Michael Jordan cards, as well as an Anthony Hardaway rookie card. Those have the most value in this set. So we'll be looking for those. No sponsors in this video, so these cards will most likely be going up on eBay once we are done. So we are going with the top left to begin our video here. Here are the packs. Fleer 93, 94, 15 cards in each. Series one, all right. Here are the upside down odds, I guess. Yeah. The limited edition Drexler cards are available by mail only, apparently. So I don't even know if they have any more of those available. Who knows? All right. First pack, top left, 93, 94. Clear basketball. I want to congratulate C. Rogers. He was our 50 subscriber giveaway winner. He has won the option of winning any of three cards that we had or a uh, scarf from our Fallout crates that we received. Adam Keefe begins us off. Atlanta Hawks. Gerald Wilkins. Charles Oakley, always liked watching him and Anthony Mason play. Uh, Oakley always, would, was it Oakley or Mason that would always have the, the design in his head? I believe it was Mason. This is the back of the card. Some stats that go back a little bit. A uh, pitcher with their name on it. We got a league leader, John Stockton. Him and Malone would just tear up the league with that pick and roll. Sedell Threat from my Los Angeles Lakers. Lloyd Daniels, I always remember he was pretty good. San Antonio Spurs. Buck Williams, this was back when I was watching the NBA quite a bit. Is this one of the Jordan cards? This is one of the Jordan cards. Scoring and steals leader number 224, so we're gonna Sleeve that up real quick in a penny sleeve here. So there's two Jordan cards and the Anthony Hardaway that has some value in them. So those are the ones that we'll be looking for. I guess any Jordan card in this era is something to look out for. So we'll get that one sleeved up. Put it in the side here. Next up, my man, Sean Kemp. Used to love watching this guy dunk with his tomahawk and his windmill. Big fan of the Sonics. And then they got destroyed by the Denver Nuggets and a heartbreaking 12-year-old me. 
Heartbreaker there, John Sally. Long time. Piston, and I believe he played for the Lakers. Tom Tolbert. Yeah, this was the height of my watching the NBA here. We got a Clyde Drexler career highlights with uh, Rick Fox. Kind of stuck to him here. Clyde Drexler, number 9 of 12. It is not autographed, so maybe somebody sent some in to Clyde to get Rick Fox. Big part of the Lakers championship runs, Jeff Hornacek. And that rounds out pack number one. Yeah, I used to love watching the NBA right about this time. I used to live in Los Angeles, so we would go to the Forum and watch Laker games. Mark Eden, big, big guy, not too mobile. You can see the knee brace there. Tony Campbell, Mark Aguirre. Eldon Campbell. He was pretty good. Just needed to step up his game a little bit to get him to the championships, but he was not around when we were getting him. Brad Doherty. I remember playing him in NBA Jam. Kenny Smith, now in, uh, on the NBA show for TNT. Terry Davis. Saw Runitz with the Warriors when the Warriors were trash. Nobody wanted to watch them play. Now, they are getting a new stadium. Rex Chapman. Spud Webb. Slam dunk champion. Oh, we got a Shaquille O'Neal card. Shaquille O'Neal, Orlando Magic. Second year card. Shaq was a dominant force with those those guys. Him and Anthony Hardaway, man. What they could have done. I'm glad he came to the Lakers, but that was a dynamic team that they had there for a while in Orlando. It took them a while to get that team going, but once they did, they got to the finals and then everything kind of fell apart after that. Horace Grant. Trademark glasses there. Kevin Johnson. With the Suns. And Olden Polonies. Two packs in. This 93-94 Fleer set. We are doing a 2014-2015 Hobby Box of Donruss tomorrow. Still no sponsors for that one either, but we will still be opening it up. Stacy Ogman on the back of this one gets the honor of the number one card of the set. Another one that was supposed to be a huge deal, but never really. He was okay, but Rick Smith, him and those Pacers had some great teams that just could never get past the Chicago Bulls. All-Star Weekend, Larry Nance. Sherman Douglas. We've got Ken Norman, Christian Leitner. His 30 for 30 was pretty awesome. Everybody hating on Leitner. Tom Gugliotta with the Washington back when they were the Bullets before they had to change their name to the Wizards. I guess they didn't have to, but they didn't want Washington synonymous with crime, even though it pretty much was. George McLeod sticking to Marcus Liberty. Not too bad. Those old Denver Nugget uniforms. John Paxson. He was around and then they got Steve Kerr and didn't really need him anymore. Harvey Grant. Kenny Gaddison. And there's Stacy Ogman. All right, next pack up. Ninety-three, ninety-four, Fleer, Reggie Williams. They have to use both years because they start the season in one year and ended in another. David Robinson, dominant force for the Spurs, big part of their championships. Mark West, Isaiah Thomas, 
big leader for their championship run also, Kevin Willis. Here's the regular John Stockton. John Starks, remember him and his battles with the Bulls, with the Knicks here. Chris Morris, that Knicks Bull series was always so awesome to watch. Award winner, Hakeem Olajuwon. His down low post moves were insane. Dell Ellis, Cedric Sabalos, league leader. Randy White, Gary Payton, another part of that Seattle Supersonic team that was just tearing things up. Eric Murdoch, Steve Smith. Remember, like watching him play with the the Hawks. He ended up being on the Hawks and playing with them for a while. About halfway through this top left corner. Still looking for the other Jordan and Anthony Hardaway. Hopefully, we, will, we found one Jordan. It's the league leader one. And hopefully we will find the regular Michael Jordan card along with that Anthony Hardaway rookie. Ron Harper on the back. Scott Williams for the Bulls. Terry Porter. Alonzo Mourning. He's a great player, too. A little more infamous with the, the Heat, I suppose, for some people. Award winner, Cliff Robinson. Jeff Malone. Don't, don't remember if they were related, him and Carl. There's the other half I was talking about, Anthony Mason. And he was always in foul trouble, if I remember. Vlade Flop Divac. With Manu Bull behind him. Manu Bull, man. The preeminent seven-footer, as most players were not that tall, but he was not very agile. Larry Nance, his regular card. Hakeem Olajuwon. Looks like we got a African card. I don't know. Hakeem the Dream. Jim Jackson. Latrell Sprewell, everybody was loving him until what he got in a fight with his coach. Ended up shipping him out. BJ Armstrong, league leader. Going along, and there's Ron Harper before he made it over to the Bulls back in his Clipper days. Him and Danny Manning getting things done in the LA Sports Arena is where they used to play. Back before the Lakers had the Forum and the Clippers had the Sports Arena. The Sports Arena was downtown next to one of the museums. And the Forum was right next to Hollywood Park. Dennis Rodman, league leader before he got all crazy. Look, he still had hair, not that many tattoos. No wedding dress on. Michael Cage. And this has like, got to be the worst name ever for a... Uh, Gotta be like the worst name ever for a basketball player. Brickowski. Harold Miner. Dennis Scott, another huge part of that Orlando Magic team with Anthony Hardaway and Shaquille O'Neal. Another Clyde Drexler career highlight card. This one is number 11 of 12 this time. Reggie Lewis, Boston Celtics. Tim Perry, a fabulous checklist. They, uh, this set did the, the, the teams all together. So like card one was the Hawks. So all the Hawks were like one through seven or however many players they had on there. John Williams, Sam Bowie, he was supposed to be a big deal, but as you can see, it says Lakers. He was like our number one pick. He was horrible, so we sent him to the Nets. Larry Stewart. Pooh Richardson. And Robert Peck. Probably not another tough basketball name, Pooh, but maybe... He had a rumbly in his tumbly for basketball. Three packs left of the top left corner of this box. So 
So we found one Jordan card. Still looking for his regular card with the bowls and Anthony Hardaway. Fingers crossed, people. Tyrone Hill. Weatherspoon. Lionel Simmons. A lot of these. Got a pack of players. That, oh, here we go. Nick Anderson. I remember playing him in NBA Jam. Felton Spencer. BJ's regular card. Tom Chambers. Newman. Farrell. Mark Price and Craig Elo. The two guys from the Cavs that had them going back when Cleveland was always making the playoffs, but it was either them or the Knicks losing to the Bulls. Carl Herrera, Rafael Addison, Post Afro, AC Green, Antoine Carr, and a Dominique Wilkins insert here. Human highlight, yep, human highlight film. Ha <laughs> ha, called it, baby. He won a couple of slam dunk contests. He was always jamming it in. Looks like we got a Larry Johnson League Leaders card in the back of this one. Purvis Ellison, another one that was supposed to lead his team to greatness, but just was all right. Danny Ainge started playing baseball and then transitioned to basketball, where I believe he did a whole lot better. Dale Davis, one of the Davis guys with the Indiana Pacers. That, that team, man, they should have done a whole lot better than they they did. I thought Reggie Miller should have won a couple of championships. Oh, look, it's the regular Michael Jordan card. It's the other Jordan card we've been looking for. So top left, got the two Jordan cards. Gonna sleeve that bad boy up here. Now we're just looking for the Anthony Hardaway. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take a couple more Jordans here. But the three cards we were looking for were the two Jordans, the league leader, his regular card, and the Anthony Hardaway. Muggsy Bogues. Always loved watching this guy. I guess he was just like regular size, so always wanted to see him do good. Sam Perkins. Supersonics, he was with the Lakers there for a while as well. I always remember him being the big man shooting the three-pointers. Like you would never expect him to make them, but he did, and now everybody's doing it. Greg Anthony. Chucky Brown. Xavier McDaniel. That's a different shot there. I like it. John Williams. Vernon Maxwell. And there's the league leader of Larry Johnson. You don't remember his grandmama commercials but for his Reeboks, I believe, is what he was selling. I don't know if that was his idea or the executives, but it ended up being a pretty popular campaign. Anthony Hardaway had one where they were using like a dummy. Chris Dudley, Charles Barkley, the award winner card. MVP, baby, Charles Barkley. Sean Elliott. Rod Strickland. Thought he was stuck on somebody. Doug Smith. McMillan. McMillan was a decent player for the Sonics. Mayberry. Brian Shaw, before he ended up going to the Orlando Magic and kind of being the missing puzzle piece for them. Detlef Shrimp. This guy was pretty good. All-Star Weekend card. Scotty. And as he's known in Las Vegas, no tipping Pippin. All right, rest are upside down. We're going to flip them over. Abdel Nabi, Ron Anderson, Bonner, Mark Jackson with the Clippers before he went to the Knicks, and Victor Alexander. Don't remember him at all. Probably because he was on the Warriors when they were horrible. Nobody wanted to see that team play. Kind of like the Clippers. The Clippers had a good team. They could just never get it going. So that's the 
extent of the top left, we got the two Jordan cards in that stack. We are on to the top right. Continuing on with our 93-94 Fleer basketball card openings. So we did our way too early picks for basketball. Figured the draft was over. Free agency's been going pretty good. So why not make some way too early picks? Another John Starks here. Chris Morris. Another award winner, Hakeem Olajuwon. So we are getting a couple doubles here. Dale Ellis. Hopefully we'll get some doubles of Jordan. Randy White. Gary Payton. Murdoch looks like one of the same packs we had earlier. All-Star Weekend, Hakeem Olajuwon. Sherman Douglas, Hersey Hawkins, Mitch Richmond, and Ken Norman. Another one that was supposed to be a whole lot better than he ended up being. Clippers. They were a fun team to watch, but they did just find ways to lose. Kind of like the Clippers nowadays. Though, I did pick the Clippers to go to the NBA Finals this year, so can't say too much about them. They were pretty good last year, and then they added Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, so um, I felt those were the two missing pieces that they were looking for. We will see if I'm right or not. Terry Mills, another Vlade Divac. Getting a few cards. There's the African Hakeem Olajuwon card. Spreewell. Grant Long. Yep, getting some cards here we've seen before. D-Rob. Isaiah. All right. So hopefully these all aren't the same as the last one, just in different orders. I said, if it is, at least we'll have a bunch of Jordans. But I'd like to get something a little different. Lewis Perry checklist. Just going to go through them here as they're there. If I see anybody new, we'll call it out here. There's Poo. Alonzo Morning again. Cliff Robinson. All right. Yep. Looks like we're... Trying to see some different cards here, but it's not really going on. Come on, Anthony Hardaway or Jordan. Though, if they are repeating, we'll probably see Jordan before we see Anthony. Another Clyde Drexler here on the back. Number, uh, Playing Blazers versus Bulls. I actually picked the Blazers. Just because I was tired of seeing the Bulls win, I think. Another Rodman. Yep. Going through the same stuff here again, so. Another career highlights, number five. So, yeah. We get the same stuff. We'll get a couple Jordans again. Don't be too sad about that. There's the regular BJ card instead of the league leader one. Muggsy, Sam. Vernon. Grandmama. And BJ. So on a side note, next week we will be doing a mixed match of stuff. I got a best of the 80s loot crate box that we'll be opening up to see what's inside of that. Probably do another Madden rebuild of the Giants video. Oh, we got some different cards. Low House, don't remember seeing him before. Ronnie Cycli. He was an NBA jam and I hated playing those guys, so... Jeff Turner, Isaiah Thomas, All-Star Weekend. 
Adel Nabby, Ron Anderson, Bonner again, Mark Jackson. So we had a couple different cards, and now we're back to the same stuff. There we go. There's Jordan. I kind of figured if we were getting the same stuff, we would run into to want to be like Mike again. So there's two of that one. The top left and the top right have had Michael Jordan. Last one of that pack is Mark Bryant with the Blazers. Three packs to go for the top right. Let's see if we find that league leader Michael Jordan card. I said you run into some boxes where you just get a bunch of cards of one player. It's never like the top card. It's always like some random guy. But it'd be awesome if it was the top card all the time. Thurl Bailey. Avery Johnson. Ended up being a manager. Dan Marley. Managing, uh, what is that? Grand Canyon University, I believe is what it is. And uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. John Stockton. Point Perfect. Doc Rivers, now with the coach of the, is he still coaching the Clippers? I, I, I don't pay that much attention to him. Derek Coleman, James Worthy with his iconic glasses there. Used to love watching that guy play. Vinny Del Negro, Cliff Robinson, and Sean, oh, no, and Sean Rooks and Derek McKee. Two packs left on the top right here we had one pack right now that was a little different than the other so it's promising that we might see the Anthony Hardaway we did get a Shaquille O'Neal card in the last one so that would be cool too I know a couple of Shaq fans I was one of them Reggie Miller I haven't seen his card yet you still hate Reggie Miller doing his box outs and jumping for threes and getting fouls from guys by just jumping into them. I always thought that was not fair. Will Purdue, not very great, but he got a couple rings because of the team he was on. Kendall Gill, he was supposed to be a whole lot better. I remember playing him on NBA Jam as well. Mookie Blaylock, Jay Humphreys, Hubert Davis, Joe Dumars, the other half of Isaiah Thomas. Dumars and Thomas. Doug Christie. Always hated that watching him play. There he is, Craig Elo. That infamous shot of him looking so sad when Jordan made that shot. Otis Thorpe. Derek Harper. Another one that I believe ended up being a coach. Chris Mullen, coach for a while. He was actually the coach of the Warriors before they got Steve Kerr and ended up winning. Anthony Avent. Gotta wonder how bitter he is about that. Whether he felt they got rid of him too soon and he should have been the one winning the championships. You always wonder about that stuff like when Tampa Bay got rid of Tony Dungy and then they won the next year. Like I felt really bad for Tony Dungy just because he had gotten that team to that point. Lloyd Daniels again. There he is, league leaders. Michael Jordan figured he was coming up. Took to the last pack of this one, but we did find him again. There we go, two of each of the Jordan cards so far. Sean Kemp again. So this one should be the same as that first one that we opened on the other side. Clad the Glad. Sticking to somebody again. Let's see who we got here. Oh, trying not to scratch it up too much. 11. Rick Fox gets the, the stickiness on him. Luke Longley. And Nichelle Knight. All right, that finishes up the top right of the box.
on to the bottom left of this box of 93-94. Fleer NBA Basketball. So we've been doing Fallout. We've been doing Madden uh, Injustice. I think I just finished Injustice number one. If not, I think I still have that last video to put up there and then started a story mode for Injustice 2. Andrew Lang starts off the top left. Or should I say the bottom left? Got another checklist. Loy Vaught. It was supposed to be a big deal, but never lived up to his potential as well. Chuck Person. So we are seeing different, different cards on the bottom here. Scott Brooks. Sam Mitchell. Got to hope that Anthony Hardaway is in here. Dikembe Matumbo. I said his holding the ball and falling down to the court after they beat the Sonics is forever ingrained in my memory. No Tiffin Pippin. Jerome Kersey. Grandmama Larry Johnson. Award winner. Another Shaquille O'Neal here. Larry Patrick Ewing. And Bill Embier. A couple new cards mixed in with some ones that we've already seen. Gives me hope that we will find Anthony Hardaway. As the top left and the top right had both Jordans in each of them. Hopefully this will have the Anthony Hardaway rookie card that we will be looking for. Wingate, Graham, Sanders, Robert, Ori. Probably had more clutch shots besides Derek Fisher for the Lakers, even though everybody likes to say it was Shaq and Kobe that had that team. It was Fisher and, or if you ask me, Anthony Peeler, another one that did not live up to the hype that they gave him. Sean Kemp, insert, parallel, whatever you want to call it. His Sonic Youth card. Mark Price, League Leaders. My guess is it would be for assist. Free throw percentage. All right. Eddie Johnson. Todd Day. Scott Skiles. He was in NBA Jam as well. Another career highlights for Clyde, number six this time. And Kevin Gamble. NBA Jam, man. Spent a lot of quarters playing that game. Just never quite the same on uh, the Nintendo version of it, but they tried. Don't give them that much. Anybody have a favorite team they would play on NBA Jam? As we start this with Ricky Pierce. Tyrone Corbin, Rolando Blackman, Romeo Robert Parrish, him and his rainbow shots that would go in, Hakeem's regular card, and a league leader card. What's that for? Rebounds, block shots. Very nice. Byron Houston, Wayman Tisdale, another NBA Jam. Bill Cartwright and Richard. All right. Halfway point of the bottom left here. Yeah, NBA Jam, NFL Blitz, all those, man. Big, big, big fan. It was cheesy, but I loved it. All right. Ronnie Cycli, Turner, an international card, Vlade Divac. Climbing on top of somebody. It looks like Loy Vaught. Early riser. Yeah. 
It's because he was, was flopping all over the place. He was on my team, and I still can't stand him. D. Brown with the Superman no look. Slam dunk winner, Johnny Dawkins. There he is, Danny Manning for the Los Angeles Clippers. Tim Hardaway. The OG Tim Hardaway, not the Tim Hardaway Jr. Kevin Duckworth. I always thought that was a funny name when I was growing up. Charles Barkley with the Suns. Started out with the 76ers. Lafonso Ellis. Stacy King. There's the man, Clyde the Glide. His regular card instead of his highlighted ones. And Del Curry. Del Curry could shoot, man. Now I see where the kids get it from, but I always thought Del Curry was a great shooter. And they were playing NBA Live and trying to get Del Curry just because if you needed a shot made, he he was the one to do it. Now Royal Thurl Bailey. Seeing some cards we've already seen here. Doc. James Worthy. Rooks. McKee. And Low House. So in some boxes, like, you get cards where it's like, hardly any duplicates show up. And yeah, you like seeing those, those boxes because you get a wide variety of players. And then you get some boxes like this where you get a couple Jordans, but you also end up with a couple of common cards or cards that aren't really doing it for you. Mark Megan, Will Purdue, Mario Ely, mixing in some guys that we haven't seen before with some guys that we have. There's Mookie, always oh, Jay Humphreys. I don't know, I guess I thought he was the same Mookie as Mookie Wilson when I was growing up. Just stupid kid stuff. Craig Elo, Otis Thorpe. Going through the same guys here. Anthony Avent and Waltz Williams. Three packs left on the bottom left of this box. So we do have two of the Jordan cards. Looking for Anthony Hardaway, his rookie card. Yeah, him and Shaq got together, and the team was pretty good. But it took them getting, like, Brian Shaw for that team to really... Another league leader, Michael Jordan, and with Sean Kemp right behind him. So that is Michael Jordan, number three on the league leaders. There's the man, Sean Kemp. Played a long time, too. Clyde the Glide, career highlights. This was them loving up on Clyde, apparently, because, don't get me wrong, Clyde was awesome, but he was still in his prime here to be doing a highlight insert set, if you ask me. Stanley Roberts, Buck, and Reggie. I didn't, like, none of the teams are playing the way those Pacers used to play. Those Pacers, man, they were always running around that court. Now you watch the NBA, and they go down there, and guys are just standing around, waiting to get the ball. Hardly anybody's moving around like those Pacers teams used to. Those guys were flying around the court, just trying to get somebody open. Picking, boxing. Doing whatever they could to try to find somebody for an open shot. Rex Chapman, another Spud Webb. Shaquille O'Neal card again. Love me some Shaquille O'Neal cards. Polonis, Adam Keith, Gerald Wilkins. Oakley again, John Stockton leaders, threat, and Lloyd Daniels. So yeah, we had two guys, myself included, that picked the, the Clippers and the Bucks. 
And the Bucks were great this year. They didn't really need to add anything to their team, I don't think. So they are in a good spot. To, the East is pretty much, if you ask me, the East is pretty much wide open right now as just about everybody has headed West Young Man. Gugliata getting to some of the cards again. McLeod. Liberty. Gaddison. Ogman. Yeah, everybody's going to the West right now. Um, no, I, I think these teams are trying to... It's going to be a duel out there in the West because these teams are going to be loaded. Either the top four teams are going to be blowing it away or everybody's going to be like 500 because these teams are stacking them up in the West. And the East is just wide open for the Bucks to just do what they did to them last time. Mike, will the Raptors make it back without Kawhi? It's possible. But they really wouldn't have made it there without Kawhi because of that six banger. I was watching the replay of that and you could hear every time it hit the rim. That's how quiet the crowd was being while he was making that shot. Alright, so we are bottom right of the box now. Still looking for Anthony Hardaway. Alonzo Morning, first time we've seen this. Insert card. Next in line, he was pretty darn good. Billy Owens. John Berry. Bimbo Coles. Brian Smith. J.R. Reed, he was in a round in 93, 94, still making stupid errors. There's the human highlight film, Dominique Wilkins, his regular card. The mailman, Carl Malone. Well, we are starting to see some different cards here, so hope is high that we will see Anthony. I mean, it is only one box, but you kind of hope that you get to see the cards that you're looking for. Kenny Smith. Spud. There we go. Shaq, number three. And I'm getting some definite repeats here. So week one of the month is our baseball week. This time we are going to have and be in the 90s doing a 94 score and a 94 tops hobby box. Looking for some stars of the 90s. I feel, I don't know if I told you, but I feel bad for a lot of those guys that came up. Like their cards are pretty much not worth anything just because of the mass production that these card companies did, but doesn't mean it was fair to the players. They, they, some of them had pretty good careers and deserved to see their cards be worth something. Eldon Campbell and Brad Doherty. Getting halfway through this last stack here. So we just did our 50 subscriber video giveaway. When we get to 100 subscribers, we will do another giveaway video, so stay tuned for that, as it didn't take us long to get to 50, so hopefully it will not take that long to get to 100. Chris Dudley. Nate McMillan again. Brian Shaw. There's a Larry Johnson All-Star Weekend card. And Mitch Richmond. The Jordan card's nice, but I guess it's personal preference that I like the Shaquille O'Neal card a little better. I remember 
weren't watching the those Orlando Magic teams when they were coming up, kind of like watching the 95 Mariners, just there was an electricity around that team during that time. Dwayne Cooper, there's the morning card again. Billy Owens, Bimbo, Rodman's regular card. Dennis Rodman, man. He did win himself some championships, though. I think he's playing. No. He just went to visit North Korea, right? And then he... I don't remember if he ended up playing in China for a little bit or not. Just because nobody else wanted him there for a little bit. Kind of like Meta World Peace. Another career highlights for Clyde Drexler, 6, 11, or no, we got 12. I didn't think we've seen that one yet. Gold-plated cards, Kevin Gamble. Chuck Person. Dikembe, again. We probably have seen these, I just don't remember. League leaders, Shaquille O'Neal, or award winner. Sorry about that. If it was league leaders, it definitely wouldn't be for a free throw percentage. Shaq, man, he might as well just underhanded a lot of those. Granny style, baby. Probably would have been a, done a whole a little bit better. They had people wanting to teach him, and he just didn't want to do it, I guess. Couldn't get the touch on it, apparently. Like, I could do any better than what Shaq did, but we're not going to go there, right? All right. Eddie Johnson, Todd Day, Glenn Rice, and Scott Skiles. Last two packs. Series 1 of 93-94. That's what I got for cutting my nails today, right? Can't open packs now. Had an interview today. I am normally a slot attendant alongside doing New Mexico Bowling News and this ABQ SCNC, Clyde Drexler. Had an interview to be a manager for a the same casino, basically. Rolando Blackman. So We'll see how that goes. They said they'll let me know by next week. There's only four people applying for the position. So 25% chance, right? Thought the interview went well, but we shall see. There's been a few times where I've gone for general manager positions in places, and it's come down to me and somebody else. And when it doesn't have you being picked, you just got to hope that... Um, that's not what's meant for you, and greater things are on their way, right? Last pack of the box for 93-94 Fleer Basketball. Polonese, Keith, looks like we've seen these cars before. Hopefully that means there's a Jordan in here, Dale of Shrimp. Superman, don't tell Shaq that, D. Brown. Coswell. Manning, Hardaway, Duckworth, Barkley, Fleming, Ellis, and Stacy King. That does it for our hobby box of 93-94 Fleer basketball. We want to thank you for watching the videos, being a part of this journey that we are on as we look forward to continuing on, doing more videos, and... Um, Hopefully, eventually, we will start getting some sponsors so that we can get more cards for you guys and give you guys the cards that we are opening up here as we are not looking for much more than what we just paid for them. So um, we will get to 100 subscribers, do another video, and um, thank you for watching. Have a great night, and stay safe out there.